And tonight in You Paid For It, Elliot Davis heads to the Melville School District in South County. Leaders there are coping with two challenges, the pandemic and proposed state legislation that could cost this and other school districts millions of dollars. Here's Elliot with that story all new at nine. The Melville School District covers the Melville Oakville area. Like other districts in our area, it's been hit hard by the pandemic. Taxpayers are giving the district over $5 million to cope with the crisis. But even with that, the district sees a huge challenge on the horizon. Financially, you know, it's, um, it's, it's really the Missouri legislature and all of their attacks on school finance. So on one hand, they're seeking to um, change uh, personal property taxes around. That's a chief source of funding for nearly all the school districts. How much money could you theoretically lose if what they're doing goes through? Well, if the personal property piece goes through across the state, it's 900 million annually for that, schools. That, how much could this district lose? Oh, the personal property side, uh, probably four to 10. Million? Million. That's as much as 8% of their budget and would force sharp cuts in programs and possibly people. But right now, there's still the pandemic to deal with, and it's costing taxpayers plenty to keep the district afloat. During this pandemic, they provided, among other things, 375,000 meals to kids, 30,000 gallons of disinfectant, 1,005 plexiglass barriers. They had to redo HVAC systems and spend money for textbooks and other COVID supplies and, of course, salaries. And there was a massive effort of providing computers and hotspots for virtual learning for families who are not up to date in technology. Here's one of Melville's middle school principals, Lauren Cumming. Our students did not have technology that they took home every evening. They utilized devices here in the building each day. Uh, so our staff and our technology team in the district worked really hard to be able to turn around and get out over 600 Chromebooks last March. Uh, and now we've been working to um, keep those up to date. Taxpayers have given the school district $1,600,000 so far to help Melville weather the storm. The district is expecting $4 million more in new federal funds from the last pandemic relief measure. With people now getting the COVID vaccine, the superintendent hopes he's seeing the beginning of the end of this terrible crisis. Melville has had 186 staffers test positive for COVID, most catching it off campus. Another 763 staff members had to be quarantined. It's been a struggle for students. It's been a big struggle for teachers. So right now in the Melville School District, keeping a close eye on the progress of the vaccinations, but also watching the Missouri legislature and watching its actions that could financially slam the district and cost it millions of dollars as it tries to survive the pandemic. Of course, I'll keep a close eye on this deal. After all, you paid for it.